Okay, let's get started with our colouring. I'm going to be using our Stampin' Blends today. Um, they come in a set of two. You can buy them individually or in a set of two. This is the Smoky Slate set and it comes in a dark and a light which makes it really easy to blend with. I'm also using the Seaside Spray Dark and Light set. I'm also going to be using the Pool Party Light and Dark set. Um, I've also got here um, Light Basic Black and I'll be using the Colour Lifter as well just to blend out some colour. So we'll start with our kangaroo first and I'm going to be colouring him in the smoky slate colours and what I like to do is I like to add my shadow areas first. There's no right or wrong way to colour by the way. Do what you like but this is how I do it. So I take my dark smoky slate first and it's best to work in a section at a time. So I'll work on his tail to start with because it blends better if the colours are wet. So I like to use the brush tip, but you can also use, there's a fine tip on the other end as well that you can use. But we'll stick with the brush tip. They're really tight lids on this, which is really good because they don't dry out. So I'm going to turn my cardstock because I find that easier to colour. And this stamp's really great. I don't know if you can notice, but it actually has um, uh, marked where the shadow is. So you can just add it where the stamp set actually has, had it, has added it. So I'm going to come in here with my dark smoky slate. I'm also going to come around his bottom here because that would be a shadow area in here. Like that. Need a little bit up here and then I'm going to come back with my light smoky slate and I'm going to come over the top of what I've just done and blend it out. like that. And that's the same technique we're going to use for the whole thing. It's a very simple technique. So I'm going to start with darker colors on the bottom. I'm going to, wherever something's sitting behind, like his arm here and his arm here, I'll add some shadow. I'll add some shadow in his ears and underneath his chin. Um, and the same with the little koala. I'll add some shadowing where he's coming out of the pouch. So cute. And use the lighter on top. I'm also going to be using the basic black light for their noses. So I'm going to speed the video up now while I do this. Um, so just to cut the time down.
Okay, now I'm going to show you how I've done the base and the background. So to do the base, we're going to take our light smoky slate and we're just going to make sure you extend it beyond the circle. Just going to run that underneath his feet to ground him. And then we're kind of going to do this little bit of scumbling so it's a bit rough, not straight. And then we're going to come back with our colour lifter and we're just going to go over the top of that. You can see that actually lightens that down. And creates kind of a snowy look on the bottom. That's what it looks like. Okay, now to do the outside, I wanted uh, to have a darker seaside spray around the edge coming into a lighter colour. So the way I did what that was to take my dark seaside spray and to go around the outside of the circle first. Because we want to make sure that you're extending beyond that circle so that you don't have any white parts showing through your little window. So just make sure you sort of bring your darker colour right the way around the outside of that circle. That way you can be sure you're going to have everything coloured. And then we're going to bring it in again using that kind of scumbling. I'm kind of on the tip of my brush and I'm doing a very messy kind of stroke here as you can see. I guess it's just we're just trying to make it so it's not a straight line. We want it to be a little bit rough. Okay, once you've done the dark, we're going to come in with the light seaside spray and we're going to come over the top of our dark and we're going to blend that colour. I'm coming right over the top of the dark. We're going to blend that colour into the light and we're going to butt that colour right up next to our kangaroo. Okay, that's our background done and you can see we've got a lovely soft background with a darker edge and a lighter center. So we're going to pretty much repeat this process for all our pieces. We're going to um, do the same for our little giraffe. Um, for him I'm going to be using um, the same, the um, light and dark smoky slate for his body and then I'll be using the seaside spray for his spots. Now, if like me, you go out of the lines, you don't need to worry, you just take your color lifter and you just run that along the edge 
where you've gone out of the lines and it will push that color back in for you which is awesome oh I've got a little bit more here now for the background of this one I'm actually going to be doing um, the same thing as we have done on our kangaroo however this time I'm going I want to leave a white area around him so once again I'm going to start with my dark smoky slate and I'm just going to bring that around the outer edge remember to be a little bit rough and we're coming in with our, our light seaside spray And now we're going to come in with our colour lifter and we're going to blend that out. And there we have our little giraffe. How cute is he? Now for our hippo, we're going to be doing something a little bit different with him. I've kept the highlights for him in a different colour. So you can use the light and dark of the same colour to blend with, but you can also use different colours to blend with. And I'm going to be using both my Seaside Spray and Smoky Slate. So um, I've picked up my, that's my black. I don't want my black. Smoky Slate, that's better. Okay, so we're going to start with our dark smoky slate like we did before and put in our shadow area so I'm going to start um, just down here on the bottom and under his chin so there'd be a little bit of shadow area under here around his face And his toes and along some of these creases okay now we're going to bring in our light smoky slate and we're going to blend that out Blend that out. It's going to bring it over the top of where we've added our dark. And now I'm going to come in with my light seaside spray, which is my highlight. And I'm just going to add that. in where I think it would be a little bit highlighted. This adds a little bit more interest. And I'm going to come in with my light smoky slate just to blend it in a little bit. And my light seaside spray. I'm just going to make sure I come over the top of my light smoky slate. And I've gone out of the lines again. Don't worry. Come in with our color lifter. There we go. Now we've got some interesting highlights on him, so I'll continue doing this. Okay, I've finished my hippo now. Um, I've added a little bit of mango melody to the little bird's beak just to brighten it up a little bit. Now to create the background around this little guy, we're going to just put our light seaside spray around the edge um, and then we're going to come in with our colour lifter and soften it out to be white all around the outside edge.
So there we have it. There's our background, nice soft background of our hippo. Now to finish off, I've just coloured in my little sentiment piece with the Pool Party Light and Dark Stampin' Blends and I've used the Dark Smoky Slate in the branch and the same for the little frog, he's just in the Light and Dark Pool Party. Now to finish this sentiment off, we're just going to do some inking with our um, Seaside Spray ink just around the edges with our finger dauber and once again I like to take off the excess so I'm just using a little bit of ink and I'm just going to lightly sponge this around the edge okay and just to add an edge to that I'm going to use my silvery shimmer silver ink pad and I'm just going to run the tips of that scallop into that stamp pad just add a little bit more shimmer and definition to that sentiment and now we have all our images colored and now we're going to get ready to put our card together